Hi, my name is Rudy Cromwell, and I am the creator and founder of Reemerging Spirits Life Warriors. The goal for me is to empower resilient female entrepreneurs to reemerge and rise in both life and their business, which means we talk about a lot of different topics. Um, we talk about mindset and goal setting and habits and gratitude and we talk about social media strategies we talk about multiple income streams because I really think you do need to have all your buckets full to have an abundant life uh, both personally and professionally so for the month of November we have been discussing giving back because I really do feel that that's part of that full circle lifestyle. Um, if you're going to work hard and, and you know grow a business and have a good life balance with a lot of you know self care and family time, it's still also super important to then give back. That's what brings everything full circle. Um, there's so many different motivations for different people to give back. For some, it's just to feel needed. They feel it's a civic duty. They like to keep busy. Um, for others, it's their way of feeling like they're repaying a debt because many have done good for them, maybe helped lift them out of a hole when things weren't going well for them. Uh, so then when they are doing well, they want to give back because they feel like it's repaying a debt. Uh, some people just enjoy volunteering to learn something new or to maybe explore something they want to turn into a future career. Um, and this is a way to kind of dip your toe in and test the water before you jump all in. Um, and it's also a great way to make new friends and get to know your community, especially if you've just recently moved and you're new, in a new neighborhood, a new town or a new city, then getting out and volunteering is gonna be one of the quickest and most rewarding ways to make new friends and get to know your community. But all that aside, there really are some fabulous ways we could give back regularly. Like it is so easy to participate in like um, a cure for cancer run once a year or, you know, like an MS or hospice walk once a year. But what about the rest of the year? There's so many different ways that we can give back regularly that are a lot more easier to implement and put into your life than you might think. And as I said, the rewards are just immeasurable. Uh, when we give back, we get a lot back in return. And that's probably one of my most favorite things about giving back. So today I wanna share with you five ways, five, <laughs> that you can give back regularly. Uh, see which one resonates for you and let me know in the comments. Uh, so first are blessing bags. Now, the picture that probably comes to mind immediately when you think blessing bags is putting a little bag together with some toilet trees and maybe a couple of candies or treats in a little bag for homeless people. And that is a great, wonderful thing because you can do that regularly. You can put a few blessing bags together once a month, then go out within your community and hand them out or even just drop them off at a local soup kitchen or a shelter uh, and let the staff there hand them out, uh, whatever works for you. But here's some other options in there that you may not have considered. How about putting blessing bags together for seniors in some of your local uh, long-term resident homes? Uh, a lot of seniors don't have a whole lot of family nearby. They don't get visited regularly. So by making that something you do regularly, like once a month, then you're going to put a smile on a lot of seniors' faces. But kind of the other end of that spectrum is, you know, schools. 
You could put blessing bags together with hygiene products, maybe some fun things, you know, and some treats, and hand them out to schools, high schools, public schools, and they can then hand them out to their their you know lower income students who might need a little something something just to get them through and uh, brighten their day and it's so easy to do you could do a little of all of it you can make blessing bags every month and and do something different like in January do the homeless in February do the old folks home you know in March you can do the schools it's something you can do regularly and it's so super simple and easy the second way you can give back regularly is by uh, creating a donation station uh, i'm not sure where you're all tuning in from but here in my town of collingwood people often build these cute little little shelters or huts in their front yard and a lot of people do like a book donation so you would bring a book and leave it in the cubby and then you could take a book in there that you haven't read yet and take it home to read this way it's not just you doing it you're providing the vessel on your front yard but different members of your community can all swap some some will add books some will take books and it's just a great easy thing to do but have you considered putting other items in that donation station again toiletry items uh, non-perishable foods canned goods you could put that in there as well and as long as you have a little note or something letting your community know that that's what you're doing then the same thing's going to happen people who can will donate food and toiletry items and the people who need them can take them. Um, and it's so super simple and easy to do and it's constantly ongoing 365 days a year. Uh, the third way obviously is to just pay it forward. These are the simple acts of just random kindness that you're going to pay forward. Uh, when something good is done for you, you turn around and you do it for the next person. Um, means paying for the guy's coffee behind you in line in the drive through it could be as simple as uh you know leaving an extra tip it could be you know helping the little kid at the counter who's trying to pay for something and maybe he's five cents you know 50 cents a dollar short chip it in for him um, those are the kind of things people remember and they're grateful for and then they pay it forward um, number four is feed hungry people. Now, again, this is as simple as maybe if you're at a restaurant, buy one extra meal and give it, take it to go and give it to a homeless person that you see, uh, or volunteer at your local soup kitchen or food bank. Um, if you're not able to uh, volunteer at those places, maybe your community doesn't have a soup kitchen, find other ways that you can maybe make some meals and share them without in the community. There's all sorts of organizations like Meals on Wheels. Um, and if you're not seeing a lot of that in your own community, be the change and start something. Get a group together. Fabulous way to give back and it's something you can do regularly. Or if you just know there's a family down the street and you know they're struggling, it's so super simple to buy a few extra groceries and just quietly leave it on their doorstep when they're not looking. It doesn't even have to be a big fanfare, you can do it anonymously, but if you know of those kind of people in your community, you could step up and do a little something and, uh, you, know, and you can do that regularly. Um, so if that's something that's on your heart, I know that's a biggie for me. I love making sure people are fed. I get that from my grandma. Nobody left her house hungry ever. <laughs> um, and I just love to be able to pass that on now. Um, and the number five of ways you can give back regularly, obviously, is to use your voice to help others. If there's a cause and they need extra voices, they need extra people writing letters, 
to you know the government or uh, if there's someone maybe who's struggling with mental health or medical stuff and they're not getting the care they need, you could advocate for them. Um, you could just speak out on topics. I think we all underestimate the power of our own voice. Um, so if you see things and injustices out there, be vocal about it because that is one of the hugest ways you can give back and it costs you nothing, but it could have a great impact and make a change in a positive way that we couldn't have done without your voice. So I hope you've enjoyed the five ways you can give back regularly. I'm hoping you'll pick at least one of them and implement it in your regular daily life. And uh, if you have any other amazing giving back ideas that I haven't shared today, I would love to hear your ideas. So put them in the comments below. If you've found this interesting or valuable, please click subscribe and stay tuned for more. Because as I said, as life warriors, we're really trying to reemerge and rise in both life and business. So we've got so much more to share and I hope you will stick around for it. So leave your comments below of other ways you know that are awesome for giving back and click subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.